What a Pugmo Beats, how are ya? How was your Christmas? Zoom tight. Um, okay, first and foremost, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, become part of the Golden Pugmo crew. Um, and hit that little bell, click it, and it'll let you know when I come out with new videos. Um, okay, so, um, what's the story? Now, I tried to, uh, do something about Michigan Dogman, but it's not coming out as well as I wanted to, so I'm just like, okay, hold off on that one. But, I do have a couple of things, so just kind of bear with me, I'll probably be bouncing all over the place. This one happened when I was with my ex. Um, and we lived in that little house, and this house has been, as far as I know, um, haunted. Yeah, just a whole bunch of different things. Like one night, I was in the kitchen. TV, we, the way the house laid out, couldn't hear the TV unless it was um, cranked all the way up. Same with the radio. It was just me and him. There's no one outside. That was it. So, sorry. So, anyway. I was in the kitchen and I heard someone say, Hello. I'm like, what the heck? So needless to say, I got my butt out of there and went running back to the living room like, thinking, did he wake up? No. The other thing that happened was, we were all sitting, This I think this happened a couple of different times, but I remember this one. Um, let's see here. What was it? We were all, I think we were all sitting out in the living room again, and all of a sudden we hear, boof. Oh, what the hell? <coughs> Sorry. Um, we go and the cast iron skillet had fallen right from the, the wall where they, he had hanging to her on the floor. Now the nail was not bent. There was the nail did not fall out is still in the, in the wall and the pan was not face down it was up so it was like someone grabbed it and put it down that was, yeah and another thing was a couple of my friends and him uh went to the house and at night and they i can find it all put down but um they went to the house and they're like, Are, is there anyone here? And they're like, yes. They heard yes. And then, um, things like, they had a, he had a collection of owls hanging up on the wall. And one of the, I think owls or what, figurines flew at one of my friends. So needless to say, yeah, it was quite spooky. There's been things happening, There's there was smell of cigarettes, and perfume, ugh. Now, I can't really tell you too much of the house because I forgot a lot of it and I kind of want to be careful what I say. So I, I'm trying to respect his privacy because it was his house, not mine. Anyway, enough of that blah blah blah. Yeah, and now, here's another thing, I went upstairs one day, he was at work, I think it was me and I think both the cats and the dog, and I went upstairs and I looked, and I went, okay, whatever, so I crawled in the bed, I swear to God, there was someone in that house, and I saw a figure, and I took the, I'm like, downstairs, and I would not sleep upstairs for the rest of the time at all. No. I did not like to go up there. If I did go up there by myself, I would announce. I'm like, I'm coming upstairs. Yeah. That was freaky. 
Um, what was another one? Um, my friend, when my friend's dad was alive, we would stay at his house, and just hang out and stuff. And there was a, I can't remember his name, an old farmer that lived on the property, I think, a while ago, long, long, long time ago. And they told me a story, and we were just BSing and stuff like that. So one night we were, I went downstairs to, I think, take a nap or just go to sleep. And I looked, we had a red light in there. I looked over, there was a figure. And he was really staring at me. He's like, oh, hell no. And guess what I did? I ran my butt back up to the stairs and I was fell asleep on the couch. I'm like, I ain't going back down there again. So, yeah. Paranormal paranormal follows me everywhere. Um, what was there? There was even one in my attic in my old house. Um, yeah, I've been choked. I've, I, just that one room, it was an attic. My, the way my old room was, um, it had attic room and had a stair, staircase for the attic with the door. And like, okay, this is cool, you know. I have my own little hidey, hidey hole. And da da da. So I, <laughs> I set my Barbie dolls up there, and I was just like, oh, this is cool. And I would play Barbie dolls, and I start to see things and hear things, and there'd be no one home but me. And <sighs> so one day, my friends came over. We were hanging out. And we went. We said to go up in the attic, and we're like, okay, just like so. My friend said that she saw something toward the end of the attic. Yeah. So needless to say, yeah. Every time I went back up to the attic, I'd I'm be like, I'm coming up to the attic. I'm coming up. And I would always make sure that door was closed when I left. It closed tight. No, as far as I know, there hasn't been anything else going on there but like I said that's just my story now if you guys have any ghost stories paranormal stories let me know in the comments below right now I don't have my snapchat because I'm changing up phones and yeah the whole thing but when I do get back I'll let you know but I'm not counseling it. but I do have everything from uh, Twitter. Where did I check my Tumblr? Where do I have it? Anyway, Tumblr, Instagram, Google Plus, uh, and Facebook, and I'll see here. So, leave in the comments below what sort you have, or you can hit me up on my Facebook page, Nikki's. It's. I'll leave it below. Uh, Nikki's Life. And yeah. Uh, like. Subscribe. If you like these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Check out the playlist. Check out my um, Facebook page. Let me know what you like. And yeah. Now just remember, because it, because October is over, doesn't mean scary stuff has to be. Thanks for hanging out with me and grab the puzzle over here. And I will see you guys next Thursday with hopefully another creepy story. Okay.